got it off in one peel. Today I have this pair of pants. Let me show you. Let me let me lay these out. There's these. Oh shoot, you can't see. Super cool vintage Starberry like windbreak windbreaker track pants. But the super super cool thing about these is the sides like. They open up with the buttons here and have some mesh detail in the middle. And this is what it looks like uh, closed on the side here. And super cool Starberry star. I have been trying to just sort through all my clothes that I've bought with the purpose of reconstructing and um, I got these ones more recently and I really wanted to do something but uh, I don't know my creative mind recently is just a little bit um, it's definitely there but I literally cannot like I'm I have no specific vision for what I want to do with these um, other than I want to make a two-piece set <laughs> um, I kind of see myself wearing it with like sneakers, something casual, but still, yeah, I don't even like, I don't even know. I guess we'll just trust the process, okay? As you saw before, I didn't even bother really trying to draw out a sketch because I just don't know what I want to do. Um, I'm thinking a skirt, like a windbreaker cargo style skirt and I also have some of this uh, like waistband that would be this here um, this one's kind of really wore out so it doesn't have that much stretch to it anymore which is fine and these are super super large size so I have a lot of fabric to work with maybe I'll do like a, a single long sleeve cropped ish piece at the top with one of the pant legs let me show you, oh, you! I just took the nail polish off my nails because, like, for no reason. You know, when you just, like, you just want to redo them just because you have time. Um, or maybe you don't know because you get your nails did. I don't do that anymore. Um, I want to, but it absolutely destroyed my nail beds. To this day, I have issues or... Maybe I just have a vitamin deficiency? Who knows? So I'm gonna take advantage of the openings here and probably use one of the pant legs as the top piece and also part of the waist because I'm gonna have to cut that uh, to fit me. So yeah, what I'm thinking is like midi skirt maybe like, uh, above and below the knee, no, 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 let me show you, okay? I'm gonna do like a kind of an angled skirt, so I'll probably cut like just below this second button, or maybe, um, no, probably right above the very, uh, the second button, because the first button starts here, and then I'll cut kind of a diagonal, uh, maybe right at that piece, and I can add some of this in it, so it'll like do the scrunching thing, It'll still be like baggy and loose up here with the pockets. It might just have one pocket because I'm gonna have to uh, uh, make it fit me. Okay, I'll see what I can come up with, but I'm just really um, focusing on the skirt part right now. So, terrible angle. But, um, okay, I have a ladder here and pretty much, yeah, I cut it. Um, into uh, shorts, super long. This is like probably the perfect length because I want it to fit a little bit lower on the waist. Then I pinned it here. I'm really trying to keep the star there, but I'm just gonna 
sew this now and cut out the middle. Oh my gosh, this is like hilarious. Anyway. <laughs> Disaster. So I don't think my machine is having difficulties. It's just that my fabric um, <clears throat> on the fold is so thick that it kind of, it does like an E6 error. You know what that is when you use a sewing machine? Um, I forgot what it means, but it means something is wrong. But I'm just gonna go really, really slow. It might happen now, you can see, but um, slow. Slow and steady is the key to success. Okay, okay whatever. <laughs> That wasn't the problem, okay? I ran out of thread down here. What? Oh, but, but, um, I was actually wanting to use the red thread and now I don't have any more. What? I don't have any more. It's fine. I have other things. I can work with what I have. The sewing on the skirt is done for the most part. On the edges so I'm gonna just um, thread this through the little paper clip on the end this is the uh, elastic like I don't want it to be tight on my legs that's uncomfy but um, just enough to have like a scrunch at the bottom and hide the stitch where the stitches get it the stitches where the stitch is. Okay. All right, all done. Now I just have to uh, close this part, the opening where I threaded it, the stretchy stuff through. Sew that together. Together, and then it'll be done. Oh shoot! I don't think that's. Ow! Oh my god! Is there a bug on my back? No, that's hair. <laughs> Sorry. Now I just trim the excess fabric from the waistband. Oh. For the top, I just cut um ha uh, the other pant leg in half. And I'm using the buttons as like the chest area so I can get it on and off like that. And then I took an extra piece of fabric here because it didn't wrap all the way around. So um, it is the raw edge here and here. So I might um, add a some trim to that something, but I'll see. And then for the huge poofy sleeve, just like I scrunched up the bottom of the skirt, I'm gonna do that with the sleeve and then somehow sew it to the back of this and it's just gonna be a giant sleeve. Okay, ignore absolutely everything going on right now, but let me explain. So, I have the skirt on. Um, I have to tighten it a little bit more because it's not exactly how I want it, but um, for the top. So this was the bottom of the pant leg and to cover this, I can't sew this under because there's a button right here. So I decided I'm going to put this here and just like kind of sew it on somewhere. Then in the back, this is what the back is going to look like. I'm going to sew this under too, but I'm going to take this piece and put it like right in the middle as the strap. And then this front here, it's a bit of a mess, but it'll, it'll look fine when it's sitting and I'll probably have like a tank top or like a long sleeve on under it. Rah! I did arms yesterday. I'm gonna fold this under here because this is gonna be covering it anyway. Pin that down. This, I still don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet. We'll see, we'll see because I can't really hem it under. I could try, I could try, I'll try, but there's a button right there so it's kind of hard to So if you know what I mean. Jelly bean. This is what we're working with. 
This is what we're working with. You're not gonna believe it. I was just feeding my cat and um, I, you know, the like the wet food, how you like open it like a jar or like the wrap thing on top. Um, yeah, so I opened that and literally right before I imagined in my head because it's like sprayed all over before, imagined in my head, like what if this like flew in my mouth or like close your eyes because it's gonna like get in your eyes, Lexi. And I open it, I go to open it and the big fat piece of ooh, cat food literally flung at my mouth, landed on my mouth. Oh my God. That's like literally my biggest fear. And so, yeah, <laughs> so gross. You. I took my dog out for a walk and I got a package in the mail, but you're not gonna see it yet because you'll have to wait for my next haul. Video. Good morning. It's day two of the product project. I am pretty much done for the most part. All we have to do is add the sleeve. This is the top here. Um, I just have to add the sleeve and attach this sleeve to the back. And then I was just there's a needle hanging here. Oops. Um, I just have to attach some loose ends. And then I'm done. Unless I want to add a little bit extra detail. I don't I don't think I do, but I love it. I literally love it. I think this is gonna be one of my not failed projects. So um I'm just gonna finish this up real quick. <laughs> So, um, I planned on going to like a rooftop and, um, I mean like a parking garage and doing like the final video, um, with this outfit because I love it, but, um, I'm too excited and I can't wait. So I just want to show you now. It has a pocket. I kept one pocket and I paired it with some sneakers. My Margillas. Okay. Cool. This is the top. Okay, you might not have to pin that down, but otherwise it's fine. And then this is the back. Ignore the white strap. Ta da! I love how the skirt turned out. I absolutely love it, but I like it all together. I should have gone to Coachella this year. Probably would have worn this. This is it! I don't know, I still can't like figure out the perfect way to wear the skirt. I don't care. I love it. The best feeling ever to make a, have a project turn out exactly how you uh, wanted. <laughs> ah. The sleeve close up. I only attached the bottom. Oops. Yeah, I only attached the bottom here. And have the little scrunchies going around. I would, I could wear it up on the shoulder. I don't really prefer it that way. It looks a little funny to me. Actually, no, it doesn't. I think it looks fine. Um, that does need to be pinned down. It didn't look like that earlier, but then I had white on under to match the shoes, but I'd have to get like a, a cream tank top to wear under because I'd probably always, always wear with these sneakers. I need to get more shoes. If you have any good shoe recommendations, let me know because um, I, I really like, I've been struggling to find any ones that I really, really like. And when I get shoes, I spend, okay? When I get shoes, usually I actually um, buy all my shoes from like Depop or Grail. Actually, no, that's not true. I, or Essence or Farfetch, you know, all those websites. But um, uh, a lot of them I find on Depop brand new and like the sellers are just selling them or trading them for a different size So that works out because you know sustainability whatever. Yeah, I, I really like the um, Comme des Garçons um, Nike collab the foam closet. I really really hope I'm saying that wrong. I mean, right. I don't know I like the black and the white ones um, But other than that nothing really Platform sandals, those are nice. I don't have any of those. I'll save this for another video, okay? I don't even know what to say. I just love it. Um, this part obviously could be better, but I'm not that worried about the top part. 
it's okay. It works, and the sleeve is just outstanding. Well, I guess it's the end of the video, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you love how this turned out as much as I do, and um, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Uh, this is a lot of the content that I do and plan on doing um, with hauls and other stuff like that, of course. Give this video a like. One last look, okay? Get a good look at it. <laughs>